Hello. Happy holidays. Go ahead and get your water ready and uh, prepare for a little workout. It's a 60 minute drills class. A lot of isolations, fusion. Thanks for tuning in. Let's pause this recording. recording. All right. I'm coming over. Over here for you guys. All right, here we go. Let's get warmed up so we can do a couple of little twists. We're going to move in all the different directions today up, down, left, right, over, back, and all kinds of different uh, combinations of those. All right, so go ahead and shake out your shoulders, shake out, kind of just bounce a little bit, keep your knees soft, your heels down. Yeah, your feet down. We're just kind of bouncing the shoulders. So let's kind of bounce and slide. Bouncing those shoulders, kind of shifting the weight side to side. Get loosened up. Bounce, drop, 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 drop. All right, inhale up. Exhale to the side. Bend your right knee as you reach towards the left. Inhale, center. And bend the left knee. Reach to the right. Inhale, center. And just be stretched. Bend the knee and reach the arm. Little flareos at the top. Little, little circle like you're getting peanut butter out of the jar with your middle finger. Inhale both arms up. And we're gonna exhale, flat back, halfway, lift the hips, lift the back of the hips here, and then we're gonna bend one knee and then the other, getting into the hips. Bend really deep. All right, get those hips nice and warmed up. Bend right, bend left. Bend right, bend left. And then bend all the way down. Forward fold. Top, bend the knees, tuck the tailbone, roll up. Little shoulder rolls back. Opening across the chest, front of the chest, and then let's hip dip it out. Nice and cheeky hip dip. Press your hips all the way to their limit there, stretching the range of motion, duplicating that joint. And slide down the inside of the leg, sinking into that hip really deeply. Slide up, other side. Slide down. And hold up. We'll start with the little uh, hip slide. So we're trying to keep the hips level. We're using these obliques to push the hips down as they go to the side. The knees are going to stay bent. Slightly. So we're trying not to paddle the knees because that's going to lift the hips up. Okay, just a slide. Slide and push down. Trying to get that pendulum motion with the hips. Slide, slide. So as my reach shifts, I'm pushing that hip down to try to keep my belt level. I'm kind of keeping them soft. Sorry, my hands are so heavy. All right. So the knees stay soft. What happens when we bend and straighten the knees is the hips come up. 
So keep them soft and then use those obliques to push. Push down and out. Go faster. As we speed it up, it's going to become a little bit smaller of a move. Down and down and scoop. Oh, 
four and left. Right, two, three, four, and left. Slot your hand in the in place. Singles. One e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a. Three quarter shimmy. Right, left, right, left, right, left. It's like you're trying to punch forward with your shoulder. Right, left. You guys. Gals know all about that. <laughs> MMA gals here. Right, two, three, left, two, three, forward, forward, left, right, two, three, left, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Try to reach those fingers out wide. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. Big snake arms. <laughs> let's take the hands up. Let's take the hands behind the back. We're going to need the shoulders stretched out. So just bring your wrists together. Inhale. Look up. Exhale. Forward fold. Let those hands come up and over your head. The hands over to the right, and then over to the left. Release the hands, let them float down. And just roll the shoulders up. Let's move back to the hips. All right. So let's do some pelvic, pelvic tilts, tuck, and release. So when you tuck, the tailbone's going down, not under. Down and, and release. So the low back, belly pulls up and in. At the same time, the tailbone points down. It's kind of like you're gonna take a hit to the tummy. So you're kind of strengthening that tummy. Tailbone goes down as you pull the belly in. Down. It's kind of nice to get a side angle. Release. Tuck. Release. Tuck. Release. Tuck. Release. Tuck. Tuck. Release. Tuck. 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 And tuck. It helps if I just think about the tug being that lower belly pulling in and the tailbone pointing down at the same time. Let's take a we're going to kind of layer slides with this. Wait, I want to do it on the down. Okay. <laughs> down, down, down. Okay. So let's kind of do that on the down just for a little bit. Really. Oh, be careful. Down, 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 down. So really letting that belly come out. If you want to slow it down, 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 down. Yeah, so I like this on the downbeat. We can stay here. Down. Let's face the front. Or we can start sliding. Slide, down, slide. Drop, slide, drop, slide, drop, 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 slide, 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 drop and slide, drop and slide. Let's try some good rhythm. Drop, 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 drop. We can kind of do some double drops. Drop, drop, drop. This is a little bit on the low back, so we won't do a whole lot of things. Slide, 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 slide. So you're either just doing the slide 
or just no, doing the drop, just, or you can you try combining them. Slider, drop, slider, drop. Okay, so now we're going to come and let's do slide, tuck, slide, release, slide, tuck, slide, release. So we're doing this uh, interior hip circle. Slide, tuck, slide, slide, tuck, slide. Sliding and tucking, that's common. Let's try the other side. We're going to slide, tuck, slide, release. Left, tuck, right, release. Left, tuck, right, release. Left, tuck, right, release. Left, pull the lower abs, right, release. And we're going to swirl it out. It kind of reminds me of like swirling your tongue inside of your mouth or something. <laughs> so we're combining the sliding with the tucking. And we're going to do that in a couple different ways. <laughs> All right, let's make our little circle. Sliding and tilting. Okay. Let's switch to some, some twist. Just basic twist, one in uh, right hip, forward and back. Let's take it uh, right hip, back. There we go. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down, down, and up, left hip, back, 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 back. So we're getting a little bit more work on that left side. You know, our hips are connected. So. Back, back, level up and down. So we're going to go down, up, left hip pulling back, down, and up, last time. Forward, drop, 
back, drop, drop, back, drop, forward, drop, back, drop, and then we'll speed it up just a little. Here we go. Forward and back. So I'm accenting it with the glute squeeze. You can do uh, both. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. You want to be really jiggly. Or just squeeze on the lift. Or you can be squeezing on the drop. Accenting that. Let's come back to our singles in the middle. Right, left. Let's, see. Let's play around with weighted, non-weighted. So weighted, uh, non-weighted, and weighted. So we're making like an L shape. Shift your weight up and out. And just on the right, start. Lift and slam. <laughs> up and out. Up and up. So you want to try not to step the foot out. You want to keep the foot in place. The thing that's going out is going to be your hip. Other side. Up, out. Sorry, slow, out. Up and out. <laughs> so non weighted, we're lifting the hip and then we're putting our weight. So weighted. Out. Up and put your weight over there, guys. Up and slam. Lift and shift your weight. So when you go out, make sure that heel's planted down. Up. Yeah, there you go. Up and out. There you go. Up and out. Up and out. All right, let's take a little break, a little drink. Check my notes. I'm loving the short songs. Forward folds are going to be your friend for these, uh, the lower back. Mm -hmm. We'll do snaky hips next. I think that'll be fun. So let's just get the hips a uh, little more of this little stretch before we get into the next move. All right. So we're going to be lifting the hip, dropping it for so it's kind of like um, like you're riding a bicycle. Drop, nice and slow. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. Sometimes it's hard to go slow. Right and left. Right and left. Bicycle it forward. Forward, down, forward, down. Try to keep that chest centered. Right. See if we can take a little walk. Step right, step left. Up and down, up and over. Down. So, step. Back. 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 In place. Keep it back. So we're combining that up and down hip with the twist back. I want to make like a pair of dice that just says twist, lift, drop, tuck. <laughs> and like throw it and see what two things we can combine. I had to make like a chart, like a tic-tac-toe graph. <laughs> so fast. Right, left, right, left. 
and we can make it kind of up and downy. Kind of just making this little back pedaling motion. Let's bring it center. Let's go into our horizontal hip figure eights from that. That would be nice. We're going to be sliding and twisting. Sliding and twisting. Let's get some music. I should be putting check marks next to what we do because it's a lot. It's a lot. I don't think we did this yet. All right. Let's do this um, horizontal figure eight. So let's just kind of play around with this twist move. Twist. We're going to be twisting and then adding the sliding. So we can always do twist and slide by itself. We're going to twist, slide, twist, slide. Slide, pull back, slide, pull back, slide, pull back. Try to keep the head center. Slide. So it's like we're drawing a figure eight around on the floor, around the floor. Reverse direction. So we're going to slide to the left and roll forward. Slide back to the right, forward. Slide, pull, slide, pull. Reverse it out. We'll go a little faster. And like I said, when you go faster, it gets up and gets a little smaller. You might not slide as far. Pulling those hips back. Try not to let the chest go. That's where you're going to need the core isolation. All right, let's show you. You can show me that out. Let's move up to the upper body with some of these figure eights. So, this is one I really want to do with you. It's a snaky sidewinder. We're going to combine sort of the slide. Slide. And then we're going to get dip, dip, shoulder down, and lift. Slide, dip, lift. Sidewinder. Slide, dip, lift. Slide, dip, lift. Nice and slow. Now we're making, so we're drawing this vertical figure eight on the wall. The chest area. Let's reverse it. So we're going to slide and lift to the right. Slide and lift to the left. It's kind of a subtle move. Think about crunching together those obliques as you come down. Subtle move, lots of abs. <laughs> Let's do some snake arm shoulders rolling back. We haven't done the snake arms yet. Give your back a little break. Check in with your legs. Make sure your knees are bent. Maybe shake out the hips a little bit, just kind of releasing. I like to bounce when I bounce my heels, kind of get rid of some of the. Whew. All right, walking in a winter wonder. <laughs> this is how I walk in the winter. Shoulders are rolling back. Painting the side walls with the fingertips. Palms stay facing down. Little little fingers. Just the shoulders now. All 
hard. Let's get on the right and left. One at a time. Left, roll back. Right, roll back. Left, roll back. Right, roll back. And left, roll back. Right, and left. And paint the wall. Try not to have pointy elbows. Soften the elbows. All right, we're almost there. Let's walk the hands up for a little break. So take the shoulders out, palms face out. And we're just going to press right and left. Press right and left. Let's add a little hip figure eight, dipping down, down and out for a tack scene. One, two, three, four. So we're, you can do whatever you want. You can do a, you know, figure eight on the up if you want. You can just do a slide. Lots of different variations for this arm, the smoke arm. If you want to do a figure eight the other way, up. Up, out, down, up, out, down. Walk the hands down. And they can do the same thing down by your side. Palms of face in. And just kind of frame the hips as they slide. Kind of makes the move look bigger than it is. All right. I'm going to do a double, double hip bump here. Okay. So we'll do those feet back. So then forward, forward, back, 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 forward. So the weight is on the left. Up, up, back, back, up, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, switch sides, forward, forward, back, back. Don't worry too much about the arm. Just try to get that hip going. Bump, bumping forward and bumping back. The foot stays in place. Forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. Single. Forward, back, forward, back. Forward. Back, forward, back. Drop, drop. So we're twisting, forward, back. This time we're dropping. Drop, drop, drop. Single. Forward, back, forward, back. Five, six. Switch to the right. Forward, back, forward. Turn, 
Drop, pull back, drop, turn, forward, turn, last time, forward, other side. Okay, starting with the left. <laughs> okay, take the left, forward and turn. Right, forward and turn back. Left, turn, right, turn, left, turn, right. Turn. That one's a tricky one. Let's let's erase it. <laughs> That's how you erase it. Really good. All right, let's work on our, our three quarter hip shimmy. Still feeling good. All right, so we're gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, shifting the weight, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Make sure you're shifting so we can take a little walk. And left, right, left. Take a walk. Step right, two, three. Step left, two, three. Step right, two, three. Step left. Again. Step right, two, three, left, two, three, right, two, three, last time, left, two, three, take it back, right, three, left, two, three, two more, right, two, three, and left, two, three, nice, right, two, three, and place, right, along what the hips are doing. You want to try not to let your elbows get pointy. This is kind of from our flamenco origin of tribal fusion. <laughs> nice soft elbows. You don't want them pointing down like that. Rubbing it on the beat. Right and left. Right two, three and left. Take a walk forward. Five, six, seven. Take it back, right? Forward, back. So let's take it to our little Turkish step. You can add the hip lifts on these. Same 
towards the end of class. Seven o'clock. So we started 10 minutes late. We still got 10 minutes. So let's take this song just to uh, kind of do a little bit of everything. <laughs> Um, this last song, I'm going to put on a different song. So this will be our last little song. We'll kind of freestyle. I'll call out some stuff. And then we'll cool down. <laughs> All right. Grab your drink. Your waters, if you like. All right, let's see. Little review. Slide, slide, slide. Slide and twist. So we're doing the same horizontal. Reverse. Horizontal figure Four step forward. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right, let's cool it down. Are 
right over to the left, walk and bring the right or to the right. Pull that right hip back. Bring the foot. Nice little hamstring stretch. Inhale to center. Toes in, heels out. Then the elbows. Take a nice squeezing forward fold here. You can grab your ankles if you'd like. Let's bring the heels in, bend the knees deeply, coming down to your squat. With the pair of hands. Ooh, that's all backwards. <laughs> Let's take that uh, right hand down, left hand to the heart, and we'll twist. And other side, right hand comes down. Little twist here, the low back. And then walk your hands behind you. Just take a seat down on the ground. Bring in the people along with us. <laughs> Let's take the feet wide, knees bent, and just squeeze your legs in. You're sweeping the floor. The knees go. Let's take both the, uh, knees to that side and then with a little mermaid stretch over the knee, easing over the shoulder. And unwind. Keep the feet where they are and switch. Cross the right ankle over the knee. Little rocking action to get that hip a little low. We got some break dancers in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go. All they needed was a little linoleum. <laughs> And then cross the other ankle over. You can add it all day. <laughs> so let's um, fire log pose. Just uh, if you can, stack the ankle over the knee, the knee over the ankle. One, one foot in front of the other is fine too. And just kind of walk it forward. Another deep hip stretch. Flex the feet to keep the knees protected. Let the head hang. Try to unpeel your tailbone. Try to untuck it and get a little more stretch there. All right, walk the hands in. Stack the leg, the other leg on top. Fire log. and then walking it forward. And walk your hands over to one side or the other. That feels good. And then just walk them back in. Come to a comfortable seat. We'll end by collecting up all the energy we put out to the room and put our palms together. One more big inhale, out and up. Little bunny mudra, kissing bunny. bunny. <laughs> Half lotus to acknowledge the space. Our fellow dancers. Which we have no control. Thumbs down, baby. Your right shoulder for your ancestors. Come together and share hugs with your teachers, your loved ones, and your heart. And your intentions. Thank you so much for dancing with me live in front of a live audience. <laughs> I am recording all this, so the goal is maybe to get them online. <laughs> I'm going to stop the recording, but I'm not going to uh, close the. Thank you.
Good thing.